Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monique from Always Live, but my friends call me more. We're friends, right? Of course we're friends. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a video. My channel mainly focuses on beauty and lifestyle. So if you do like this kind of videos, please, please, please do subscribe, share the video with your friends and let's grow as a family. So today, <laughs> I'm excited because I'm on, I've honestly been waiting for this delivery put my phone down I've honestly been waiting for this delivery for a while I um, initially ordered this particular item should we talk and unbox at the same time because the box is pretty massive that's the box that it came in cover my address <laughs> but that's the box that it came in I have been waiting to unbox this the whole day but I thought you know what I'm not gonna open it I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna film and open it but anyway so this is the box that it came in I think um, they are Louis Vuitton are trying really hard um, I don't know just to make sure that your bag or your item doesn't go missing in the post because if it was um, or if we had the whole Louis Vuitton logo all over it then everyone will know <laughs> what you've ordered it might disappear anyway I'm gonna open the box um, So you get the um, Louis Vuitton logo in there. Ta -da -ta -da. Oh my God. I have been waiting to open this the whole day. Oh, God, let's get it off. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna take out everything first and then we're gonna open it together. The struggle, gosh. Woo, struggle. So, I feel like I've done a cardio workout. But anyway, so when you do take it up from the box, that is what you get. So on here is obviously the receipt and the paperwork that comes with it. Um, a return label if you are not happy with the item, you can take it back. Um, yeah, did I put, what did I put here? my address and all stuff what's it what's it yeah so this is all the paperwork um i ordered this bag i ordered this bag online um initially i <laughs> this bag yeah let me just say let me just quickly tell you a little bit of a story so basically i was oh no i don't like this this box is damaged you can see over there um it's damaged here i'm very pissed off already but anyway um i initially was on the waiting list for this bag and um that was before the first price increase went on and nobody contacted me so i kept checking on the website but this bag was always sold out so then i um decided to try out during this whole pandemic period to see if it will be available suddenly all the bags are available wow and yeah it was available i ordered it online i waited two days they took a pound they took one pound from my account and i waited three days and still nothing so i called um the customer service and they said that my order was not complete and i was like what do you mean it was incomplete and um they said well the lady couldn't even tell me why so they had to cancel that refund me back my pound and then I had to order it and that particular day it was out of stock so I had to wait another two days being on the waiting list it came back I got an email and when I got the email I called them the next day and they took a payment over the phone and yeah voila three days later here comes the bag they did tell me it's gonna take up to two weeks but it came within three days but yeah so that's that the blue ribbon and the big magnetic box i'm not happy with the fact that the box is damaged but hey um so yeah let's unbox it let's unbox this bad boy let's unbox this bad boy i always wonder what this is what is this like a little oh i guess if you buy it as a gift you can like write a, 
a message I always write a message to myself but for some reason I didn't I always put things like you deserve it <laughs> you're the best but anyway let's unbox it so that's that um, that's the bag the dust bag inside oh I'm gonna put the box away neatly because I'm not happy with the fact that it's damaged Louis Vuitton you need to do better so that's the um, dust bag and obviously by the thumbnail you already know what bag this is oh, oh my goodness I got myself the Alma PM I had the Alma BB and oh, let's just admire this that picture I've had the Alma let's put this dust bag away I've had the Alma BB I've actually sold my Alma BB and I've also sold um, a Valentino Rockstar bag to buy this particular one um, because I was like mm, I'm not gonna keep bags that I'm not um, using so I sold one on Vestiaire and I sold one on Depop so yes um, this bag Wow, hold well on. I haven't I haven't seen this bag, so just give me a second. Let's assess the bag and make sure that it's okay. I love the size. I am so happy that I actually sold the Alma BB and I bought this. And I'm gonna quickly give you the um, dimension. So this is um, 32 centimeters in length. Um, 25 centimeters in height and 16 centimeters in width oh, I love it I love it I love it this is um, in the Demia Ebene and this is the coated canvas that's it it's the coated canvas um, they, they made this coated canvas obviously it's, it, it becomes waterproof <laughs> this is one of the best Louis Vuitton um, materials for me I mean it's I think I feel like it's it's ageless it looks really nice and it looks really classic and what sold me about this is um, when I was doing my research because I do a lot of research before I buy a bag and this particular one this Alma PM was designed for Coco Chanel so apart from her using her own Chanel bags this was her bag like this was it so I was like get a little bit of cocoa in me you know so yes I bought this in a PM I love the size I sold the other one because I didn't like the size it was too small and I carry my whole life in my bag and it didn't fit so the inside oh, the beautiful red interior the beautiful red interior girl and um, it's, it's got two pockets one two and that is the padlock um yeah that's the padlock um the keys should be right here the keys should be right here now i am debating whether to have it engraved because i'm so glad that i actually did not engrave my alma B um, alma bb because it was easier to sell but i'm thinking this is one bag that i'm planning to keep for a very 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 long time so i'm thinking about having it engraved but i do have the um travel luggage but these which are already engraved i think i have about four of these <laughs> i took my um travel luggage which is also in the um demia ebene to be repaired and it came in with two other ones so this is already engraved so i'm thinking maybe i'll just you know use that instead i'll just use that instead and it's got my initials on there instead of engraving this i don't know what do you guys think do you guys engrave your bag let me know in the comment section but anyway back to it i love it it's very structured just like the um very structured just like the bb the zip um oh yeah do you hear that it slides easily yes girl the zip compared to my keychain this is a this is the color that I would have expected the keychain to have but hey uh, yeah it doesn't have a strap um, that's the other thing but I'm gonna order a strap from them I think um, I, I 
actually thought it was gonna be the size I thought it was gonna be bigger because I'm a big girl right I consider myself a big girl I'm just kidding I'm five foot eight so this bag really I feel like this fits me more than the um, Alma BB I feel like with the Alma BB yes it was nice because it was crossbody and I'm a mom sometimes when you're out and about you just wanna you don't want to carry the bag on your hand but I feel like this crossbody will still look okay to me I feel like it will I'm gonna cherish this bag because I swear to God I did not take care of my Alma BB uh, I, and I wonder I didn't get a lot of money out of it because it had some scratches but obviously it scratches easily especially the bottom part of the of the bag so I will try my best obviously it's got the protective studs at the bottom the four protective studs I do have the Louis Vuitton engraved on them um, it's actually such a beautiful classic bag I don't even know what else to say about it I'm so excited I am so happy that I actually picked this size <sighs> I just can't wait like I'm, I'm ready I'm ready to just take everything off my other bags and just dump it into this particular bag it is honestly a good a good investment I don't think I I will change it or I don't think I will um, I don't think I will sell it but the thing is here's the thing when I initially wanted this bag I think this bag was going for a thousand and seventy pounds and I ended up buying this for a thousand and one hundred and sixty pounds because of the price increase come on Louis Vuitton what is happening we've had what this is the second price increase this year I mean are you gonna hit us with a third in November because I'm just a bit confused what is happening I understand the business side of the reason why the prices went up but come on would like for me to do a what fits in this bag please do let me know in the comment section below and I will gladly do that I'm planning to get um, an organizer for it because the interior is something that I want to cherish for a long time um, I will get the uh, I've ordered it um, from Amazon so it should be coming soon then I'm gonna do a what fit in this bag if you do want me to do that please do let me know also I don't know I'm just so excited I'm so excited I really love this bag I do I will do a video on how I save up to buy my luxury bags as well um, that's coming on my channel so guys thank you so 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 much for watching and to all my new subscribers welcome to the family please as I say do not forget to subscribe share and like my videos and let me know what other videos you like me to do on the comment section below until next time guys Bye, see you in the next video.